Hey everybody, so this is going to be another empties video. My empties bin has been filling up because I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, so I thought I'd share with you guys my empties. If you can't already tell from my voice, I have a cold. I've had it for like maybe four days or so now, but today I woke up with almost no voice and it's starting to come back now. I sound a little bit manly, a little bit like high-pitched scree screechy at the same time, but I feel okay. It's just my voice. So I'm going to go ahead and kill my empties anyways because I want to get rid of these products. So the first product I have, I didn't finish up. This is the Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play Harder Hairspray. That's what it looks like. It's probably about half full. It just got really yucky on me. It be like in the beginning it was okay, definitely not my favorite air spray, but as time went on it got stickier and stickier to the point where I didn't even want to, I'd rather use no hairspray than use this hairspray because it made my hair all sticky and gross. It even, like the spray, I cleaned off the nozzle but it still didn't spray that well, it was like big chunks, it just wasn't good. So disappointed by that, I'm going to throw it out because I wasn't using it. The next thing I did use up is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I've used up a lot of these. This is by far my favorite sh dry shampoo, although I do have a sample of another one. I don't think we used it up yet, but it's really good too, so I don't know. I may have a new favorite soon, but fabulous stuff. I've already repurchased another one. The next thing is random. It's a candle. This is the soy candle from uh, The Honest Company in Lavender Vanilla. This is a really nice candle. I'm surprised I can still smell right now, but I can. It's just a very soft lavender vanilla scent. It's not overpowering, it's not too sweet. It helped me feel sleepy in the evenings, like if I was taking a bath. So I would definitely repurchase re another one of these. The next product, sorry guys, my voice. It was fine before I started filming, but now I feel like it's getting worse. This is the Drink It Up Coconut Milk from Alba Botanica. One of my favorite conditioners. I do have a backup of this. So I would highly recommend it. It works as well as the hair mask, but it doesn't weigh your hair down. And it's got all natural ingredients, so it's fabulous. I highly recommend this. The next hair care product is uh, from L'Oreal. It's the Everpure Volume Shampoo. Now I really do like the L'Oreal hair care products. There's a lot of them that I like. Um, this one in particular didn't wow me in any way. It was a good shampoo, but I didn't feel like it made my hair extra voluminous or anything. Alright, what do I have next? A little sample of the Body Butter Coconut Scrub from Soft Soap when I was traveling. You know what, there's still product in there. I can see it. But uh, it's really hard to squeeze, like this is a really tough thing to squeeze, so I won't be repurchasing this just because the product is so hard to get out, although I do like the product. This is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal Beach Spray. You guys know how I feel about beach sprays. I've yet to find one that works and doesn't just dry my hair out and make it crunchy. This one didn't work for me either, so sadly I did use about half of it. Like I kept trying and hoping, but no luck. This is the Beauty Without Cruelty Facial Cleanser, and I got this in an Ipsy. I used it three times, and all three times it burned my eyes. And I don't put facial cleanser anywhere near my eyes, but I guess just the fumes? I don't know. It just, I'm not, I'm not a sensitive skin person uh, or a sensitive eye person, so I don't know what's in this, but it burned my eyes and I didn't like it. Okay, this is the Cool Wave Beach Salt Spray, another salt spray that was a dud. Didn't work for me. It just came in an Ipsy, so I only tried it twice, I think. This is the Body Shop Vitamin C Microdermabrasion. It's a facial scrub. As you can see, I use it all up to the last drop. It's fabulous. It's very fine grit, and it's the most, I talked to the Body Shop person, it's the most scrubby-like scrubber that they have, and it's amazing. It'll get every little bit of dry skin off your face. So I do want to repurchase this. I really like it, so that's a win. This is a little sample, Bobbi Brown Extra Eye Repair Cream that I got from Sephora. You guys, I think I put this in a favorites. This was only a sample. I think I maybe got three or four uses out of it, but I've never had an eye cream wow me like this one did. I wish it wasn't so expensive. It's so luxurious and so hydrating and I actually saw results in the three or four times that I used it. So one day if I want to be spendy on an eye cream, I will be getting that eye cream. Alright, this is a Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner. It came in a pack with a bunch of different colors. This is the navy blue. 
I don't typically wear a navy blue eyeliner, although I did use it a number of times. It's just dried out. I believe it's over a year old, so it's a fabulous eyeliner. I use the black one every day. I'm wearing it right now. Fabulous. This is the Michelin Peach Fine Radiance Face Oil. Came in an Ipsy. I used it a couple times. I didn't really like it, and I have so many face oils that I was like, why am I holding on to this? Sorry, there's like a motorcycle out there. So obnoxious. I do not like motorcycles. The noise that comes with them anyways. So yeah, um, I didn't finish it up, but I didn't really like it, so I didn't feel like I needed to. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Very interesting mascara. The brush is the most softest, plushest brush I've ever used. It is, like, I'm not going to touch it, I'm going to get my fingers all black, but it's so squishy. You know what, I kind of fell in love with it. Not enough to buy the full size, but um, at first I was like, I don't know if this is really doing anything, but I did fall in love with it. Just the texture of the brush worked well for my eyelashes anyways. And the last product is a mask. This is the Black Rose Cream Mask from Sisley Paris. And you know what? I have no recollection of using this. Clearly I did, but clearly it wasn't amazing because I don't even remember if I liked it or not. Sorry guys, it's kind of a dud to end up on. But yeah, those are my empties. I'm excited to get rid of them and start a new batch of empties. I hope you guys enjoy. Sorry about my voice again. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!